The origin of astrochemistry really started with the detection of carbon monoxide in the late 1960s. And that was done by Penzias and Wilson at Bell Labs. And I was at Bell Labs at that time and I got very excited by this detection and went out and found the next line up on the, on the CO ladder and then subsequently the next two lines after that. So we knew that carbon monoxide was very well excited. You could see many lines and um, there was a strong chemistry developed for carbon monoxide. So that really was the start and it in our, enabled us to propose to NASA for something called the Large Deployable Reflector, which was proposed in 1979, but uh, the Challenger accident in 1985 stopped all work on that, and we were told by NASA not to use any more space probes from the shuttle, but to work on a Delta rocket, which is a much smaller rocket. And so we worked on a much smaller rocket uh, for astrochemistry. And in the meantime, the Europeans were working on something called FIRST, which was a project started in about 1982 by Teister Grau and others. And that, um, we wanted to join the two together. And we managed that in about 1990, when we managed to convince a, a conference in Liège uh, that uh, we should join the two projects together. They agreed, the whole conference agreed, but NASA and ESA didn't want to work together and we had to force them to do it. Eventually they did it and they did a beautiful job and you can see that Herschel now is a, is a wonderful satellite with wonderful data and we're very proud of it.